Alongside right-hander Mark Gubaza, color analyst for the Los Angeles Angels, I'm Mark Rand of the San Diego Padres, and we're going to talk some ball. We know you love talking baseball, and Gooby, let's talk some baseball as yep. far as the Anaheim Angels and uh, the San Diego Padres. But first, when you were a kid, did you want to be one certain player growing up? in the Philadelphia area. You know, it's crazy playing baseball, and you grew up in a cold climate, too. You really were playing all sports at that point. But I remember growing up, Jim Palmer was one, and Steve Carlton. Obviously, I was yeah. a right-handed pitcher, so Jim Palmer was my guy. And I always mentioned that to him, too, and he really feels good about it. I said, when I was a kid, Jim, I always wanted to be like you. And he goes, well, I kind of look like you right now. I said, well, that's why you're Jim Palmer, and I, I never was. I grew up in the Chicagoland area, so I, I grew up a Cub fan. You know, we had the three networks in our house in WGN, and I remember seeing a guy, a right-hander by the name of Ferguson Jenkins, yes. a Cy Young Award winner, and I was also a Ron Santo and Ernie Banks fan. But, you know, always you played wiffle ball? Yes. I played wiffle ball. We played all sports growing up, and uh, I remember I was Ernie Banks hitting the home run. I was Ron Santo making the play, and I was Fergie Jenkins getting the hitters out. And, of course, the same thing in your backyard probably as well. Fergie Jenkins threw a lot of strikes. Did you throw a lot I of strikes not. in that, your career, though? That's you just the went one this thing. the opposite, though, didn't I you? I was totally opposite. Could yes. not find home plate. So, with that said, I don't know whether you, Gooby, you had dreams of being in the NFL or, um, you know, playing NBA basketball, but I'm sure wanting to be a big league baseball player was something in your dreams. And when did that come about? My dad played in the minor leagues for the Chicago White Sox back in, in the early 50s. And at that point, it was A, B, C, and D yep, league. He was right. playing in D league down in Kentucky. Three older brothers, so we had a lot of fun playing games. We always had a game going on. We were playing stickball in the schoolyard back in Philly. So I always wanted to play for the Philadelphia Phillies. And I thought as the draft came along that I had a shot at being drafted right. by the Phillies, but clearly that didn't work out. Yeah. Kansas City, who I was at game six of the World Series when the Phillies played the Royals, and I'm screaming, hating George Brett. A couple <laughs> years later, I'm his roommate. That's, <laughs> yes. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I, want, I wanted to be a, a Cub. Yeah. And it, it's kind of ironic as you and I sit here. We were both drafted in the uh, June draft, amateur draft 1981. It seems like yesterday. Look at you, 10 you, overall. You know, yeah, Ronnie Darling, who I love. Yes. Uh, by the Texas Rangers 9 and I remember waiting by the phone that day remember we had no social media mark mm -hmm. remember we didn't get a text from anybody and then you were taken by the Royals 34th question for you did you think as we look at this list and you know there's a lot of analysts yes. Paul O'Neill Coney yes the late great Tony Gwynn yes John Elway, John played Elway. Played Oneana. He, he, he did okay in football though don't you think he, he did okay yeah. and then Mark Langston of course is at Petco doing radio for for your angels but you know you're you're 34th by the Royals were you Thinking you were going to go earlier, did you? Were you surprised when uh, the phone rang and said, "Hey, the Royals well, choose Mark Gubas"? As you remember, back then the scouts are looking and, and they got their radar guns, and, yeah. you, and you're going, oh, "There's a lot of people here." And we're pitching, like we mentioned, in cold climate, so you're pitching some games. It felt like you had a jacket on throwing, yeah. so you never knew exactly who was going to draft you. I was hoping the Phillies. They kept saying they were they were going to draft. My dad served mail back and filled to a couple of executives on the Phillies. He kept saying, "Hey, you're going to draft my son." I go, "Oh yeah, if he's around in the first round." So all of a sudden, the first round goes. And I'm playing stickball up at, at home in a schoolyard. We used to hang out about 15, 16 of us. And my dad's got a station wagon. We always knew when he was coming. Go ahead, a, a, an odd noise making making his rounds around. Yes, yeah, so and he's like, "Hey, hey, Junior." I said, "Dad, first of all, I'm not a junior, but he called me Junior. You just got drafted by the Royals." I remember going. With the Phillies just beat them in the World Series by that goes they've been to the playoffs like five of the last six years why would you not want to go there so you know lo and behold John Shearholtz was mm -hmm. you know at that point trying to sign me and I mean, he always tells the story coming into your house I remember thinking if I don't get this deal done I'm gonna end up in the Schuylkill River with some cement shoes so I better get this done <laughs> as soon as possible but you know my same thing for you I mean how was it I mean growing up in Chicago yeah. area wanted to be a Cub yeah. wanted to be a White Sox uh, yeah. we had the uh, North Siders and the South Siders that did not come to fruition and being with the Giants it's amazing how things turn out because some of my dearest friends in this game of baseball are with the Giants. You know, Mike Kruko, Dwayne Kuyper, Bob Brenly, and the list goes on and on and on. But, you know, we were young back then, and we see a lot of young players on the field right now. I ask you, you don't see the Padres that much, no. but in the last two games, some young players or players that stick out to you uh, for the Padres? Renfro, I think, you see the power he has. He made a nice play in the outfield here yeah. last night. He, he has the ability. I, I, I was talking to Don Dorn in a game. Eric Hosmer is going to be the key for every one of the young players for the Padres. Yeah. And I know... When you look at the rankings, which is always a good thing, the Padres are at the top as far as so many young, you know, prospects coming along. But you need a veteran to be able to help them out. You know, Hedges behind the plate. I've known him for a while. I went to Jay Sarah High School in the Orange County yeah. area. So there's a lot of good players come out of that high school. So I see this team. I see a lot of similarities to the Kansas City Royals. But Hosmer was able to bring these guys together. And, yeah. you know, granted, they had a magical run for two straight years getting the World Series. Padres in a very difficult division. There's a lot of young prospects throughout each one of those teams in the division. A lot, a lot of resources also. But sure. uh, 
when I look at the Padres, I think the future is there. This is an unbelievable ballpark. A great city. A plethora of young talent yeah. and prospects are just that their talent, so they're hoping they come up as one and can win. You know, I look at your club, of course, Mike Trout. I, I wish we saw him more often. Yeah. Best player in the game right now. Uh, Shohei Otani, you know, he's he's going through the elbow issue thing right now. But uh, what do you think of Anilton Simmons? Oh, my short gosh. Shortstop in all the baseball. You just took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, you know, we're, we're, seeing, to do yeah, we're, we're talking about two pretty good shortstop, Freddie Galvis yeah. and yes. Simmons. But Simmons, my gosh, he just makes it so easy, uh, looks so easy. And you as a former pitcher, you look over your right shoulder to see a guy like that at shortstop. He knows when to use the hose. He knows when to, you know, he can take his time. But he is just solid through and through, and uh, it's just the mainstay up the middle that's uh, that's solid for the California Angels. Yeah, and, and Los Angeles Angels. Los Angeles Angels. I'm there, showing my age. That's, that's, well, yeah. No, well, you were 10th overall pick, so yeah. you, you were a little bit older. Only than a me. high school education. <laughs> hey, before we go, uh, you had one heck of a career. Yeah. Two-time All-Star, 20-game winner, Yeah. right? Pretty lucky. Uh, but a lot of people forget I was a 20-game winner as well. Yes. It just took me seven years. It took us seven years. I eventually won 20 games. Gooby, thanks. Mud, it's always a pleasure. Great talking ball no, with it's you. It's great talking with you. you I, and you look fantastic, by thank the way. Thank you. I feel great as well. Yes.